When we look at these first people to build these orders, these ancient priest kings, they get they get known as El. So this is why we see the Canaanite deities, Hebrew Canaanite languages, Hebrew Canaanite symbols prevalent in the Americas. Ancient Hebrew, Canaanite Hebrew in the Americas before the corruptions of Aramaic and the other forms of modern Hebrew, uh, Babylonian Hebrew, and the interjections of a lot of Babylonian, Mesopotamian things that we see today. You have to understand that these Babylonians, Assyrians, who were also recorded to also be Negro people, you know what I'm saying, circumnavigated the earth, but also they put into bondage a lot of people within the earth. So when we look at uh, the, Sha what is the Shashu, the Shashu people, and the coast of Philistines, Joel, the third chapter, refers to the removing of the children of Judah and Jerusalem far from their border and from their coast. Now, when we look at this ancient coastline, and as we were talking about earlier, the Great Horizon Line and the protection that had been provided by Africa, Afer, Akibalan, the hill, the hill catcher, the lying in wait for those trying to cross over and come into what is known as the promised land, the land of promise, the, the land of possession, the land flowing freely of milk and honey where labor and other things were not required. So men could live freely here in these lands of the America to worship, to give praise to the creator. So that was the main essential about this land of America. America was a land of worship, of praise, to give thanks to the, the creator in the lands aligned with the heavens and the earth. And Africa, for many years, was a protection. So this is why when we look at a lot of the uh, signs and symbols dealing with Africa, um, So you see here the, the selling of the Hebrews. There we go. It talks about the two portions, right? So when we look at the two portions, the two lands, the two ladies, Upper and Lower Egypt, and the Amu people, and why we see in the in the tombs the representation of the so much of a census. You have to understand the census and the populace of on. And the Abel, the third chapter, and it talks about. So when you look uh, at the, the census in, and uh, the populace the on, as I was so just Jake, talking about, right? So Jake. The northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, Samaria. So, uh, where does that? Where does that? Let me get it. So this is when you look at Nahum, right? And it talks about the populace on, the multitude, populace Amun, Aman, multitude, and the populace of On. This is an ancient location, an ancient city, also known as Nikim or the Red Mount, um, in, re in regards to the eastern border of the Pacific. So when you look at Amun, which means the multitude of the populace, right? And the scriptures, and it says, Are thou better than the populace? No, that was situated among the rivers that had waters round about it, whose rampart was the sea, and her wall was from the sea. So, these ancient lands, when you look at them, uh, America, and the coast, Mexico, and the protections, many different lands that you'll find here, ramparts uh, with ancient forms of Hebrew. In New Mexico, you'll find ruins uh, with ancient forms of Hebrew, pre-captivity Hebrew, showing and giving evidence that 
these lands here in America were uh, Phoenician Canaanite regions that spoke and held some of the ancient forms of Hebrew known along with commandments as well so you look at Ammon the thieves of the west and the great rivers right? whether it's the Mississippi the Ohio rivers um, all the way to the coastline of Cali California now when you look at uh, armies and navies Oni and Uni the navy fleets and the naval locations these reasons this is why Pearl Harbor the west coast and the borders are your army right your protection on the coastline so when you look uh, at California and this coastline it was essential to conquer this region that's why the Spanish wanted to come here to this golden coast Barbary Coast from all the way from here all the way down to Santa Barbara to Baja, Baja California all the way down to Peru this coastline was essential for the navigations and the protections as we can still see to this day how the protection so when we look at Joel the third chapter and it talks about them being sold to the Grecians it also mentions a people called the Sabians so we understand the Sabians and these locations of the Jordan and the Petro Jordan, the external portion outside of their protection of what was the hill catchers. So everything beyond the Nile Valley, right into these regions when Esau and Jacob, when Jacob took this inheritance, you have to understand the lands the additional lands that Jacob, Israel, was able to receive. So when we look at Nahum, and they're talking about this ancient, this ancient location and this protection, you have to understand the borders and the coasts here of the Americas, whether it's the Atlantic Sea or the Pacific Ocean or the southern portion. These things have been a protection for centuries. This is why it wasn't until 1492 in these times that we see invasions being popularized on the scale that they have today in America's being colonized. It was because of what took place of the expulsion of the Moors in 1492 in these regions of Ghana, West Africa, Morocco, Spain, Portugal, where uh, Abraham originally had held heraldry or became the heads of a lot of these locations so when we look at the uh, import and export of maize and the different currents that connect these are the, these are the same lands and if it wasn't for the earth being divided in the earthquakes these lands you you know what I'm saying at, at a point in time the ancients didn't need to see far so the development of sea far and the development of ma map making and the development of the alphabet was essential, not only to um, give a common language or a universal communication, but also to document the unchanging formation of the earth that would be going forward. So these are why the most high ways don't change, right? But the, but the earth some some say was a different form the, the oceans and rivers at one point in time had a different flow and these things are are shown because we can see the raising of the seafloor here in california and these regions that have been elevated right these are ocean seafloors so we see proof of tectonic plates colliding together. This is why these regions of California are called Alta, Alta California. You understand the altar, altar call, and the call from the altar, and the significance of the Feast of Trumpets, Rosh Hashanah, and the New Year. It gives evidence on why this homecoming for the fall was so necessary. I'll explain more. Peace, peace.